Hello everyone, it's Kingdom Kids time again. So good to be able to talk to you. I wonder how you're doing today. It's lovely and sunny at the moment. So, everybody at Christ the Rock is thinking about a story this week and it's a story from a book in the Bible called Acts. And it's Acts chapter 12. And it's just one of the amazing things that happen to Jesus's friends. So, all of Jesus's friends had got together to pray. And they were praying because a terrible thing had happened. Peter had been put into prison. He'd done nothing wrong. He was in prison just because he was a friend of Jesus. And so I wonder what his friends were praying. Um, if I was them, I might have prayed, um, please, God, help Peter. Or, uh, please, God, let them be kind to Peter. I don't know. What would you pray if your friend was in prison? The Bible just says they were praying. So there are Peter's friends. And here is Peter. He's at the jail, look some very mean looking guards who are guarding him and he's all chained up and it was night time i think peter was asleep because the bible says that an angel gave him a nudge and said wake up peter Get your clothes on. It's time to go. And Peter jumped up and his chains fell off and he followed the angel. And the angel led the way and they just walked right past the guards. Come on, Peter right past the guards they walked. I wonder if Peter felt scared. Maybe he didn't because he was with an angel. Well, then they came to the gate and they were great big metal gates. And the Bible says that these gates just opened all by themselves. I think that must have been God and his power. And Peter and the angel just walked out of the prison. And Peter thought that maybe he was dreaming. But then the angel said, time for me to go. Bye. And Peter realised he was outside the prison and he was completely free. And he realised it wasn't a dream. So he went straight away to his friend's house, to Mary's house. And he knocked on the door. And at the house, there was a girl called Rhoda. And so Rhoda went to see who was at the door. She looked out the window and she said, Ah, it's Peter. She ran to tell the others. It's Peter. Peter, Peter's here. Peter's at the door. And they said to her, don't be silly. They said, maybe it's Peter's angel. She said, no, it really is Peter. Honestly, he's at the door. So somebody went to look. It is Peter. And so they let him in. <laughs> and they were all so happy that Peter was free. He came in and he told them all the story of what had happened. How God had sent an angel and his chains had fallen off and the gates had opened all by themselves and they just walked out past the guards and they were all amazed. I wonder if they had a piece of that nice chocolate cake. I think Peter probably needed a piece. 
So this amazing story has made me think about my prayers. As I've been praying this week, um, I've sometimes been using my hand. I've sometimes been praying for the people really close to me and the people that show me the way um, and the very important people and the people who are not feeling so strong and, um, and me as well, and I pray for me. Um, but this story has made me think that maybe my prayers could be bigger. Maybe I could ask God for bigger things. Like his friends who were praying, I don't think they prayed, please God, will you send an angel to break off his chains and then miraculously let him um, walk out of the prison. Um, and be free again. <laughs> I don't think they were praying that. They definitely weren't expecting that to happen because when he knocked at the door, they didn't believe it was him, did they? It's made me think our God is just so amazing. The Bible says in Luke chapter 1, verse 37, that nothing is impossible with God. God can do absolutely anything. That just makes me want to go and ask him for some really big things. I wonder what you are asking God for. It's been great to talk to you and share this story with you. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.